morning everybody. It is the start to yet a beautiful Saturday, day two. Now you guys aren't going to have seen anything for day one because I didn't film anything for day one because the main allure this weekend is actually everything that's happening today. Yesterday wasn't that crazy. Tomorrow's not going to be that good. Yesterday I only ran some enduro test sessions but that brings me to what we're actually doing today. I'm not participating in it. We're going to have the six hour enduro this week. I don't mind the wind noise or my hair please because I'm starting to understand why everyone wears a hat out here. It's why the wind is so terrible or the noise is so terrible with all this stupid wind um, and it also ruins my hair. So my day is starting off a little slow. I always missed my first session because I didn't have tires on it. I had Maxis on it for what I was doing yesterday I was telling you about which was the open track. Those are my old Toyos and then I've got a brand new set of stickers on here and they just got on. Uh, they put the stickers on for my first session but they didn't get them done in time for my first session. So I ultimately do not, did not get out for my first session, but that's fine because they ended up black flagging it because the car got totaled. So if I can find that car, I'll show you guys that. Um, I actually didn't see it happen, but like I said, I wasn't out there. So I didn't miss a whole heck of a lot getting out on track today, but I've just got to quickly get ready, get in my gear because I'm about to head out now for my first session. So I'll get my GoPros and mounted up and then I should be good to go put down some good lap times. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it's not a waste. It's a really hot day. So first two sessions are always the fastest. The second two aren't all that fast. Since the first one didn't really happen, I've only really got the second one to put down a good time. So I was putting down 215s on this track last time. I'm hoping to put down, I don't know, 213. I'd be happy with that because my car's still way overweight, but we'll see what kind of times I can put down. Just finished up my first session, second session of the day, but it was my first one run. Have no idea what times I ran just yet. I'm hoping for, honestly, anything better than a 215. So, because the tires felt a lot stickier than the uh, old ones had. Uh, the Maxxis I was running all day yesterday, they were just greasy everywhere, wasn't holding up. And last time I ran on a brand new set of Toyos, it wasn't like a massive difference for me. But today, this time it felt a lot stickier, so I feel a lot better about my times. I have not looked at them yet. I was waiting for this moment to pull them up. So I'm gonna pull up those times and we're gonna see what we got. And there we have it, times right there. No, I did not beat my record, sadly. I got a 215, 269, which is the fastest time that I've done so far, but it's still shy of what I wanted, which was anything better than a 215. That doesn't put me too far off pace-wise, though, with other TT4. Uh, drivers, but it doesn't put me very high either because we got a lot of out-of-towners. I'm happy with those results for now. I've still got tomorrow and I've still got the rest of the day. Typically, you're not going to run nearly as fast uh, third or fourth sessions just because the track is so much hotter than you are going to run on the second session and the first session, but when you have no other choice, you got no other choice. Anyway, that was the second session, so that means it's lunchtime. I've got a few hours. I'm going to go ahead and get something to eat and then we're going to take a look around because there's some pretty cool cars here. This is what I was talking about. This is one of those really wicked cool cars that we have out here. An LMP Riley prototype. I'm actually not sure which type of car this is.
probably not my best eye to see yet, but I just got myself a double burger with bacon for lunch. That's gonna totally fill me up before I'm supposed to be out there on track. So it's a little bit later than expected. Um, I finished up with my third session of the day, the second one that I actually made it to, um, and I didn't end up actually getting a whole heck of a lot filmed during lunch because, well, uh, my camera started having issues right after I filmed that a destroyed Subaru that set one of our track records here uh, that ended my first session or ended the session that was supposed to be my first session uh, and then I didn't have time to fix my camera until now that I'm done with my session but we're gonna go ahead and get the tires rotated on that because I have run currently two sessions on them uh, and after two sessions on a brand new set of tires I like to rotate them to just make sure I keep them fresh. Tires are rotated up it's getting hotter. Uh, I don't expect to run anything super special, but my next session is at 3.35, and it is currently, actually after 3.35, they're running late. So the plan right now is to run it until I run out of fuel this session, uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get the car weighed, and you're gonna get your best time in the first four laps. I've got enough fuel to do four laps without starvation issues, and then I'm gonna let it run and run until it starves itself to the point I have to pull off track. After that, I'm going to pull it in, I'm going to be really low on fuel, I'm going to get it weighed and I'm going to find out because even though I've been keeping track of how much weight we've pulled out of the car, I don't, it may be inaccurate, so I want to get another official estimate weight from their scales over here and see where I'm sitting at, but then we're going to start entering in the Enduro, we've got the qualifying for the Enduro, then we've got the Enduro, and I'm in talks with a couple of teams, I'm hoping to get into the pits so that I can get some footage of teams actually doing driver changes and fuel like up close. Uh, so hopefully I'll get some of that for you guys as well. But for now, like I said, I've got about five minutes before they go out on track, so I'm just gonna quickly change and get out there. just got off track and I just ran my fourth session of the day and I put down, wait for it, that, a 2.14.208, which is my fastest time that I've ever done out there on full track. Uh, and it was faster than any of the times I ran today. And if you look at those numbers, all of those times were faster than any of the times that I ran today. So that was exciting. Now I do attribute that to because I got the privilege of following a faster driver, the guy who was graded ahead of me, his name's Tyler. And the number 418, I'm gonna say that number wrong because it's not coming to head right now. Um, but I was following him, which gave me the ability to go a little bit faster and I was able to mimic his line, which is not something you really typically want to do. But 
sometimes it helps to, to see how a faster driver does it. Uh, but now my car is really hot, it's back in the garage, and that's it for me today. I'm done being on track, I'm out there, done out there racing. Um, but currently, what's happening is what the excitement for today is. It is the qualifying for the Enduro, which is going to be happening tonight. And I'm gonna hopefully be following around. Like I said, I'm gonna try and get into some shops, so let's go uh, check what they're doing out. We're about 45 minutes into the six hour stint, so I missed the first little bit because I ended up feeling too ill, so I had to go uh, sit down for a little bit. Uh, but we're gonna go past the LMP2 cars, we're gonna go meet up with Velocity, James at Velocity, who's running the Velocity car. It's a, it's a 370Z or 350Z, I do believe. A little blue car. Uh, and hopefully we're gonna figure out when they're gonna be doing their next driver change or next pit stop, because then we can uh, get an up close look at that, because I've never actually been in the pits during a serious pit stop, despite the fact I have been to some bigger races. Copy that. See you this time in. Just finished hanging out with Velocity in their pits. I got a couple cool shots of cars getting pitted. Um, but I think just because the sun's starting to go down, I want to kind of explore a little bit and I'm getting tired of the views that I have here. So I got the street tires back on it so that we can go drive on some gravel roads without me feeling bad about it. So slicks are just going to be waiting until tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead while the sun's still up. I'm going to go back over to Velocity. I'm going to go check on how they're going, how they're doing, see when they're going to do their next pit stop. I'd love to catch a nighttime pit stop. Uh, versus just the daytime one that I caught. So we're gonna go over to James first. We're gonna see what they're up to. We're gonna see when they're gonna pit next. And then we're gonna go ahead and check out my favorite spot to watch the race from. It's a little bit away from everything and uh, it's kind of hard to see with this lens, um, but it's a gorgeous place to view. Plus it's just a cool place to hang out. Okay, well, he says the car feels good. Okay, good deal, good deal. Uh, business as usual. Thank you. The 
I was not expecting to run into the middle of that situation, so I kind of avoided talking to him as a whole because I didn't want to bother him because it seemed like they were in the middle of something. Uh, and then he got in the car. The car actually started working again. They pulled it around, they went through the pits, they did their pit stop, take a look, took a look at everything, and then they uh, they retired for, well, they didn't retire. They brought the car into the pits, they got it going, and then he got in the car and he drove off, and uh, they're currently racing, so. I haven't had a chance to ask him what happened, uh, but I'll be back there in a little bit to go, you know, maybe get some nighttime pit stops. And here's the spot. It's a little bit of a storage area, but what I like about it is this old abandoned tower here, which you can go up, and I don't know if you can still go inside, but you used to be able to go inside. They may have replaced the doors to stop people from going in there. This isn't necessarily the quietest spot, if you haven't already heard, but it has a great view, as you can tell. You used to be able to get in there. It looks like they have new doors on there. If you look there, it looks unlocked. Oh, would you look at that? It's unlocked. Which I guess doesn't fully surprise me that this place is open and unlocked. Same great view, but a little bit nicer environment to yourself. Um, and hanging out with people up here is pretty cool. Looks like other people have already done quite a bit of that up here. I've always loved endurance racing like this. It's probably one of my favorite things. I uh, love uh, 24 Hour Le Mans, 24 Hour Spa Franco Jobs, 24 Hour Cranberry Green. 24 hours is anything, honestly. If it's 24 hours and it's racing, I love it. Uh, endurance racing, just how much strain it puts on the people and on the cars. I find it absolutely fascinating. And as we've seen already out here by some of these cars that are flying by me here currently, none of them are flying by. There you go, one of them. I think that's what, uh, yeah, it's one of the fast garage Miatas. It really stresses out a lot of these cars. And none of this was, I was not supposed to be doing any of this. Unfortunately, as everyone else has, I was affected by the whole COVID strike in uh, unexpected ways. I was supposed to be traveling Europe for seven months following European Le Mans series, uh, World Endurance Championships, and just in general having a vacation um, earlier this year, but it all got canceled due to, due to COVID. And then racing got canceled initially, and then they opened it back up for us. So I've been spending the year racing instead of traveling like I was expecting to do, which, I mean, I can't complain. I was blessed enough to be able to afford to do that. I had spent the last year getting ready for the trip, saving up money so that I could afford to quit my job, do it, and be jobless when I came back. And unfortunately, it never materialized like it did. So getting to come out to a place like this and watch less big endurance race is still completely fine to me because honestly, it's the same thing. Whether you have 20,000 people in the grandstands or 250 people in the grandstands, half of them being friends and family, it's still endurance racing. And it's still awesome in my opinion. That all being said, the structure is extremely rickety and you can feel the whole thing shake every time you walk, which is kind of a little iffy, but you'd, I deal with it for the view that I get from up there. Uh, but the sun is very clearly going down. I wasn't feeling hungry a couple hours ago when it was dinner time and nothing's open here anymore. So I'm gonna head back to my car and I'm gonna go ahead and order myself some pizza. Then we can watch the endurance race, the lights go by and the brake rotors glow red. It's been a long day. they had did this. All the way down. All the way around. 
Currently I'm finishing up in the pits. It's kind of slowing down here because we've only got about an hour left in the race. But teams I'm watching, Pink Ribbon Racing, they're currently in second place, one lap down. That's a team I'm really rooting for because it's got an F1 hopeful when it's one of their drivers. The team that's been nice enough to let me hang out with them all day today was Velocity. Uh, they're running sixth in the same series or in the same group. And then my buddy who was racing earlier, he's uh, in Team Fast Garage, and they're currently running second. Really hopeful for them. Well, I'm just finishing up editing this video, and I realized I made the cardinal sin once again of forgetting to turn on the microphone. Unfortunately, it was for this last little bit of audio right here where I did my outro. It's understandable, though. I was completely tired. I was up from 5.30 in the morning racing all the way until past midnight. For the enduro to do all this so i was dead exhausted and i was just forgetting things and i think i crashed pretty quickly after this it's unfortunate though because i tried this cool little camera trick where i uh finished my outro and then i put the lens cap back on the camera it was a really cool trick you guys would have loved it uh regardless that all aside uh it was a really good weekend and i ended up running some really good times on the third day of the weekend i set a new personal best of a 213.8 on the outer track which is what we were running so I'm super pleased with that, and I can't complain about the weekend there. Anyway, this video is a lot longer than I had originally expected. I had a lot more footage than I expected, and there's a lot to show with the Enduro and all my racing. So I'm going to leave you guys with this footage that I have here of the truck cars running at night. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one.